Good morning. Um, I know a lot of us are on fire. I know I'm on fire myself. And I got this drive, I got this passion just to share the gospel, share the word. And it could get an overwhelming excitement at times. And in this, you see so much hurt in the world, so much people in trouble and so much people in pain. And you want to change everybody, man. You want to make these big impacts in, in the world, in, in the cities. So with doing this, you want to... You keep striving to see where you belong next. You keep thinking about these next goals, these next big plans you have, you, ha you have to do. And it's easy as well. You're like, God, where do you want me next? Where do you want me next? Where do you want me next? What's next to come? What's my next season? We're in a rush. We're pushing, pushing, pushing. And then it's easy to be, get lost in wanting to be somebody. I want to be a leader. I want to talk to thousands of people. I want to be on a pedestal or I want to be this unique person changing a lot of things and being recognized. But I think we lose one thing. We lose how to be just a child. We lose just how to be a child of God. God's child. Think of a little of a kid. A kid wakes up in the morning. Joyful for the most part. And just walks around the house with no worry. No stress. With the smile on, on their face. Not a care in the world. Because they're, they're, they know they're being taken care of. Their father leads them in that direction. Or mother, their parent, leads them in that di in the direction they need to go to in that day. Do this. The child will do it. Do that. Be careful. Watch out. A parent protects them. Throughout their whole day, they're just walking, being led. And if they mess up, if they slip, the parent is there to discipline them. And I think that's what we miss sometimes when we pursue being these big, or when, even when we pursue our calling. We got to slow down sometimes and just remember in each day to be led by our Father daily.
being curious. Lord, what are you going to bring me next? I said it wrong. Just being curious. Just being curious. You know how a child picks up things? And here's the thing. I don't think... It's, it is so important of who we are in life. The most important is how we live in life. It's not who we are. It's not who we become. It's not what leader we are or if we, what, what positions we get or um, what we accomplish. It's not who we are. It's how we live. And what I mean by that is living. Living by the word in your daily life. In each moment. Being obedient. Listening to the Lord's commands. And just bearing fruit. No matter where you are. This world is so big. There's so many places that need love and need Jesus. And the Lord has put all of us in those correct, unique places that we need to be at. For him to flow through us and to give love. But I think we're doing more running. Or more busyness. Or we're trying to pursue the work to save the world. So no matter where we are, just give your heart to the Lord. Live humbly, so humble. Instead of thinking we're this I don't want to say the wrong word. Just live humbly, give your heart to the Lord, and just focus on being led by the Spirit. Because you could change. We can't change the world, but how many individuals' world can we change? And there's so many opportunity of that in one place. In a small town, in a small neighborhood, at your job. Focus on the spirit. Focus on being led by the Spirit, producing fruit. Nine fruits of the Spirit. Just loving. Just being, just shining, just shining so bright in the dark. We can change the world if we just continue to be children of God daily and be like little children. You guys have a blessed day.